to teach you how to do an adventure project called Peekaboo. It's actually Peekaboo Stars. So if you, there's a camera. If you cover your face, then the baby picture on the screen, we'll cut later, will cry. If you don't cover your face, that means the baby sees your face, then it'll smile. Like you're, you're the baby's owner. <laughs> Let's get started with this app. So first, you're wondering why I stopped at this website, mmetzer.mit.edu. So this is how we get the tutorial. So go to for educators and AI with that inventor. We'll go to this website right over here. Scroll down. You'll see quite other projects, right? But we need the peekaboo right here. It's about the third one project. And now here we have a voice calculator, but we're not gonna do that today. So go to click the link, which is actually blue in color, and click, click the restrict URL personal image classifier peekaboo. Of course, I already have the project, but here we go. This is the project right over here. So let me explain what this is. So this is a screen with wafers. This is the screen, so this is the stats label. We'll say loading, done, or 100%. So this, these two are the horizontal arrangements, well, which are actually labels on top. So these are the sign or labels that actually are the happy things or sad things and these are the percentages that how much percent happy or angry and these are the bar graph, bar graph that shows exactly how many percentage so this is a web viewer which is actually like a camera this is the horizontal original start which holds the start button and the toggle camera button when you click start everything will set up and start and control camera will basically tell the camera which is actually changing the camera's view of point of view. And of course, we have a baby photo here. There's also a sad baby photo, but let me show you this. So this is a sad baby photo, and this is a happy baby photo. Let me close this first. Okay, so let's go to blocks and see. There are also a few blocks ready for here. So let me explain what these use these are so this is the error code this is the personal classifier ready that I mean like a setup and this is the toggle camera button click and toggle camera facing mode and this is the one start button click to when when we start start the PIC running then we'll stop the continuous classification and set the text to start which will, which will set Back to the start button because it's a start button. Or else call it to start the continuous classification. And set the start button text to stop. And down here we also have a little code, which is also what we're going to code today. So this is when the PIC got the classification, so the result we do we have to analyze the global confident me confidence and not me confidence you might be wondering what these is go back to designer we have something so this is the our peekaboo model right over here it shows that if you're covering your face or not that's why you have the happy baby and the sad baby of course you could also go to the personal pic1 properties and you'll see the model as a peekaboo So let's go back. So it's actually me confidence and not me confidence. Me is that you not covering your face and not me is that you're covering your face. So, so let's get started with this code. So we actually are using dictionaries today. So into its local me confidence and not me confidence. So you want what? Want to get the value for the key me, which is actually the key word, in the dictionary, which is the result. Or if, if you can't find it, then zero. And it's the same. 
of the other one. So let's get this coding. We'll have just just the exact same thing I said. So go to dictionaries. Get value. Find a block. Get value for a key in dictionary. Or if not found, not found. Drag it out and put it in the me confidence. Duplicate it and put it in the not me confidence to two. Both of these text strings will delete them. We don't need them. So if if the value of key keyword, which is me or not me, which I said. So go to text, drag out a two text strings or duplicate it if you want, and put in the get value of key me confidence set to me and not me confidence set to not me. There you go. So we also need to, need to get the result. So we have to get the keyword, which is me, and the dictionary. It's actually not a real dictionary, but in the computer. Dictionary, which is a result. You have to get the dictionary result. So, of course, hover above result and get result. Snap it in the in dictionary and duplicate it and snap it in the in, the, in dictionary and the not me convention as well. Or if not found, then zero. That means nothing. Duplicate this and put it, snap the block or if not found in not me confidence as well. In so we have to initialize both of these inside. We have to set the percentage. Let's go back to the designer. You see, these percentages, we, we have a problem of how we can do it because we have to make our model know that how many percentage, that means how happy or as angry we are, then that's how they get the percentage and the bar graph. So let's get coding with this. So we have to set both both the percentage and the bar graph to the me confidence. Of course, some of you might know that the me confidence usually is zero point something percent. But we have to turn it to percentage. So we have to times one hundred because the percentage is talking about one hundred percent to zero percent. Not 0 0.1, 0 0.2, you know. So we have to times 100. I'll teach you how to do this. So go to percentage label in the box. Click it and then set percentage 1 text. Drag it out and snap it in. Empty space. And set the text to, we have to join something because we don't have percentage in this adventure project. So I think we already learned join before. So go to math and select blank space times blank space. Drag it out and snap it into two empty space here. So we have to times the me confidence with 100, which is equals to a percentage. So hover above Intelize Global, me confidence, then get me confidence, same as the result. And select it to 100. You'll find, you'll find this in math. Math, drag out this box, put it here, and set it to 100. There you go. We also have to set the bar graph one, that means a happy space here, and set the bar graph width because some of you might know bar graphs too. So if it's like 100%, the bar graph will be width will go all the way to the end. But if it's zero percent, they'll stay like this, or even better, no, not color. And it's the same with this. So we have to set the width. Go to bar graph one and set the bar graph one width here set bar graph one width actually percent 
set the bar graph one represent to of course same the mean constant is time 100 so we can du duplicate this snap it here we can also duplicate this whole set of code just set it to percentage 2 and the bar graph 2 bar graph 2 so of course we're not all setting me comments so drag drag these out you'll see this arrow here so we have me confidence not me confidence and the result we pick not me confidence not result. both of them times 100 which is same as the first one the logic is exactly the same so finally we have to get if the me confidence is larger than the nami confidence or nami confidence that the other smaller than the me confidence so we'll drag an if then else block out from the control scroll up and you'll see if then else drag it out and snap it below the set bar graph to what for set so if the mean confidence is bigger than the not mean confidence so go to math You'll see this very strange block. Here. You'll see here there's an arrow. You can pick many symbols here. We'll pick this one. Bigger than. So if the me confidence is bigger, not me confidence here. So you know how to get them. Hover above the cold code variable and put it in the empty spaces respectively. Finally, then we have to set the screen with background color because when when we when the baby is happy, that means we're not covering our face, the screen will turn blue, light blue, or you can set it to any color you want, anything that's happy, and we'll set the happy baby We'll make the picture of the happy baby right over here. But we'll actually set it to visible. Visible, that means if you can see it or not. Happy baby visible to true and sad baby visible to false. Let's get coding with this. Then we have to set the screen one. So go to screen one, scroll down until you see set screen one background color to and snap it in the then empty space here snap so if the screen one background color is to light blue so you you should probably find this while here or you can go to colors and select any color you want or here you can pick it right over here I'll use these colors for now. Set the background color to light blue. And we have to set this happy baby into sad baby pictures. So happy baby visible. You'll find it below here. Set happy baby visible to and snap it below the set screen one background color block. To, well, true because it's happy. And anyways, the me confidence. That means your face is not covered. The baby can see your face. And the happy baby comes out. That means the baby is happy. And you have to go to sad baby. Sad baby. Set, do the exact same thing. Set sad baby visible to false. Or if you want, you can also duplicate. Here. Happy baby duplicate. And just set this to sad baby. And set the visible to false because we don't want a sad baby. Or otherwise, we'll do the exact same thing. Duplicate this. Set the background color to not light blue anymore. To pink. Or otherwise, red if you want it to be more exciting. You know, we'll duplicate these blocks happy baby visible to false and the sad baby visible to true 
because the baby is sad. So the sad baby's picture comes out. Or the baby's face will turn sad. Finally, a project is done. You can go into Designer and edit some of this to make it more fancy. Or you can also test it right now. You can go to Connect AI Companion and scan this QR code. Also, the will teach you about this model next time. So you can go here and search PIC. It's actually picture. It stands for picture image classifier. Personal image classifier. Right over here. So this is our image classifier. So it will show your face here. So if you press, you update this, select a new label, or you can select the label right here and capture a photo. And if you want to test it, go here and select test, and you have the testing screen. Great. So I hope you have a good time. Goodbye.